So I heard about Isabel and Kirsty through a family friend. Uh, he was doing really well post starting on their program and I kind of wanted a little bit of that. Um, we contacted them around Christmas time, it was just before. Um, over Christmas was really busy for us. So we decided to start in the new year. We kept a food diary for a couple of weeks. Um, and that to me really started to highlight the issues um, that I got with my diet and specifically how much of one thing I was eating. Um, so why did I want to do the program in the first place? Well, I was kind of fed up with feeling rubbish all the time. I was really tired, my hormones were up and down, oh, my poor husband couldn't put up with me um, as much as he always said that he would do. But it just felt like the right time to do something about it. We had been thinking about doing various things with our diet in the past but nothing had ever really come of it. So it felt like the right time. So the first thing that we did was go through our food diaries and um, that was the point that really highlighted to me how much convenience food I was eating. I actually thought in my head that I had quite a healthy diet and that was because I ate healthy meals um, but actually a lot of the day-to-day -day things that I was eating was heavily reliant on baked goods so lots of cakes, biscuits um, and that was really because I felt so low in energy all of the time. Um, I was grabbing bits and pieces as I could and trying to make myself feel better. I realised now that I had a really negative relationship with food and that was caused over several years really um, using food as a coping mechanism mostly through uni and then led on to um, when I was heavily sleep deprived having my daughter. Um, Isabel and Kirsty came just at the right time. Um, really simple yet effective strategies to make myself feel better. So obviously looking at the diet, um, which I'd looked at myself previously because we'd had a lot of struggles with my daughter. She was having um, gut reactions to foods which were making all of our lives quite stressful. We didn't really know what was going on. We cut dairy out of our diet, we then cut soya out of our diet. We also saw that she was reacting to things like raisins and certain pulses. Um, so really our diet was getting more and more limited and it felt like we were getting really stuck in a rut. Um, Kirsty and Isabel showed us a plan of how to reintroduce those foods into our diet, um, excluding soya. Um, but the dairy now is phenomenal. My daughter can eat all dairy. We do have raw milk and we have um, high quality produce and I think that's the real difference. Um, we've also bought a dog um, which may or may not be Kirsty's fault or Isabel's fault um, but one of the recommendations was to get outside in the sunshine, outside in particular and um, get exercising. So I thought rather than relying on myself to get up and out every day I knew I wouldn't do it so um, my husband's always wanted a dog. I finally said yes and um, we went from there. I'm now out walking twice a day, we're also out playing in the garden and I know it's summer at the moment but I, I'm hoping that even through the winter this will continue because I think it's one of the, the biggest improvements that I've made to my health. Um, I love being outside now and wouldn't have it any other way. Another of the really small changes that I made was having a carrot a day, uh, which was um, either in a salad or sometimes I would just grab a carrot if I didn't have time to make anything. Um, and I noticed within a couple of days that I really started to feel more awake. I, it sounds strange, but I almost felt like my system had been cleansed. Um, and that was that was brilliant. Um, and I would really recommend that to anyone. In fact, I do recommend that to friends and family. Um, <clears throat> another of the changes that they recommended was to really take care of, care of myself 
I'd spent the last year, I started the programme when my daughter was one, and I'd spent the year prior to that completely and wholeheartedly taking care of her and had completely forgotten about myself, um, which makes no sense. Um, I was breastfeeding, completely drained, and they highlighted to me how important it was to make sure I was looking after myself as well. So I started doing a daily yoga when she was having a nap. Um, I still do that sometimes as well if I want to reground myself. Um, I also did a bit of research and found that um, walking barefoot in the garden was really good for regrounding yourself. So I, I'm always out barefoot now, um, but that kind of suits me anyway. Um, I also join the gym. Um, I only go once or twice a week, but I meet up with a friend and we go together. So it's really good for it's really good for me to just switch off and have some time for me. Another big change is I went back to work, um, something that I didn't think that I'd want to do after having my daughter, but they kind of gave me permission to be myself as well as a mum. So really what I'm trying to say is there is a lot more to the programme than sorting out your diet. Um, I really wanted to lose weight, that no longer is a priority. I have completely changed my view, I want to be healthy, not thin. I want to, and do, love myself, um, something which I never thought I'd say. But with the help and the guidance from both Kirsty and Isabel, um, with that really personal service that they give, I felt like I was chatting to two of my best friends, um, you know, having a catch up here and then if I needed to speak to them via email, they would pick that up. And it was really helpful to know that someone else was on my wavelength um, when I was making decisions about um, diet or my daughter's health. I got someone who really understood the way that I'd always thought really. Um, I'd always wanted to be natural in the way that I dealt with things, always wanted to go down the route of natural medicine, but I'd never really had the confidence to break from the norm as such um, and so with their help I now feel that I'm doing a pretty good job of looking after myself and her. One thing that the program has done and I'd say it's probably the best thing that it's done is given me the tools to be able to recognise patterns in my own behaviour, health um, and it all links to what I eat. Well the majority links to what I eat. Um, so for example if we have um, an upset tummy, I can kind of link that back to something that we've eaten. Um, and don't get me wrong, we don't eat perfectly all of the time. We still have, um, I would call them treats, um, but we know when we've had a treat. Um, we have digestive discomfort and sometimes that's worth it, sometimes that's not worth it. I'm also able to notice patterns in my mood. Um, just recently I noticed myself getting a bit low again and was able to recognise and with the help of Kirsty um, note that it was probably due to my blood sugar. Um, I was craving a lot of sugar, I was craving a lot of um, bread and stodgy foods and quite quickly I was able to turn that around and I'm, I'm back on form again. So I suppose the last question is, would I recommend this to other people? And I can wholeheartedly say definitely, I definitely would. Um, in six months, a lot has changed. For one, I'm no longer miserable. I'm no longer an emotional wreck for my poor husband who was dealing with a really stressful job and a really stressful wife at the time. It also feels like I'm able to make informed decisions about our diet. Um, we buy now from local farms, um, so we get all our fruit and veg from one farm, we get all our meat from another farm, and you know, we can actually talk to the people that have reared meat, um, reared the animals to make to have the meat. Um, we also get our raw milk from another local farm and the lady there is 
so lovely and so supportive and um, again you can see the cows in the field which my daughter absolutely loves so it feels like we've made a whole lifestyle change um, which is strange to say but it's true um, simple things as well like changing our cleaning products it's something I've been meaning do, to do for ages because I wanted things to be more natural uh, for myself but when my daughter came along I was like I don't want her to be full of chemicals and I don't want her to be exposed to those things um, and again with that bit of guidance and support I was able to make that really quite simple change and it felt so good throwing everything away all in one go um, so yeah 100% recommend and I hope that I still stay in contact with um, both Kirsty and Isabel in the future because they've become really close friends.